I'm literally starting to wonder if telling people to talk is our generation's version of man up. First off, if you're new here, my channel is all about exploring mental health, things that are topical, the ways that I feel and how I thrive in my life despite the ways that I feel. If that feels like something that might be of use to you, then remember to follow and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know each time that a video drops. Guest appearance today is Candy, latest addition to the family. Alright mate. And we're recording today when I've just got back from a run, so I'm on, can you see that? Lovely, right? Uh, blueberries and yoghurt. So I've been looking a lot lately at how everybody keeps telling everyone to talk, right? If you've got a struggle, you should talk. If you're struggling, you need to talk, talk. We point to the most, most vulnerable people in society and we tell them that they should talk. And it's troubling me a little bit because I now have an understanding that talking is just one of a million and one different ways that people look to communicate. When I look back to when I was younger at school, as a teenager, when I threw a chair, I was communicating. Um, and quite often my behavior and the ways that I presented to people, often hidden within that was an attempt to talk and a need to be heard, actually. And so I did a talk this morning at a school for people that struggle with their uh, emotions and their mental health. And uh, one of the questions during the Q&A was, um, how do we get people to talk? And I said that maybe, the, maybe sometimes it's not about getting people to talk. Um, there's lots of ways to express ourselves as people. And sometimes talking is not, just, is not an option. At 12 years old, I was unable to articulate the ways that I felt. I was so confused. Um, but if you stuck me on a stage and told me to act out the way I saw the world, I could have done it in a heartbeat. And I would have told you a lot about me and a lot about the way that I saw the world. So that kind of therapy um, stuff, that therapeutic stuff that we talk about, art, music, drama. Um, but then on top of that, behaviors and things like that. People who are struggling are often trying to communicate in any way that they can find and my biggest fear is that the conversation around mental health at the moment it seems to be this one dimensional idea that uh, you have to find strength to talk and for me I would say that's not always the case I, I would say that what we need to do is as people we need to start to recognize when other people are trying to communicate with us and like I say they do that in a million and one different ways so the message really today in today's video is about you don't have to talk okay and if if you want to lock yourself in your bedroom for the day then lock yourself in the bedroom for the day sometimes that's the best option we got right and there's nothing wrong with that and actually I would encourage that if that's what you need but with that I should add that exploring the ways that I feel has been the greatest thing that I've ever done and it's probably been the most healing thing that I've done. Um, talking has been, for me, a vital part of that. But if writing things down helps you, um, then write things down. Um, just find a way to express, explore, and become curious about the ways that you feel. In my life today, one of the main ways I do that is, is talk. But also, another way that I do that is by being silent. Yeah? And another way that I do that is by listening to people. And so if we're not encouraging exploration and curiosity, then we're failing. And I know look, in the past I've told people just to talk. I've said you just need to talk because, it, I, you know, I think we want to offer a solution. And that seems like the most obvious one. But sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes we don't have the words and sometimes we can't find a way to, to, to express ourselves. So if you don't want to talk, don't talk. Another way to feel better, by the way, is uh, if you don't feel better looking at that, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But this is Candy, and this is Candy's debut. Um, and so, um, I'm happy if you want to comment in the comments and tell me that I've brought Candy in just to try and get views because I have. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I wanted to explore today. Really, was that look, look, you don't need to talk if you can't talk. If you can't find the words, that's okay too. It doesn't mean you're less brave. It doesn't mean you're less strong. Um, it just means that that's where you're at at the moment. Acknowledging how we feel, exploring that and being curious is what's important. And however you do that, um, 
I just hope that you find a way because that's what important that's what's important so as always uh, please share this video and obviously like it as well and remember to subscribe if you haven't done that before and look if you want more of candy as well then let me know